Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we're going to look at Skittles and Sheets, an interactive self-checking Google Sheet template that lets students use Skittles candy to practice math skills including estimating, counting, comparing, adding, dividing, and graphing. As a previous middle school math teacher, a favorite physical manipulative has always been candy, specifically Skittles. These red, orange, yellow, green, and purple candies have been used in many classrooms for students to explore math concepts. Inspired by this, I have created an interactive, self-checking Google Sheets template called Skittles and Sheets, which allows students to practice skills including estimating, counting, comparing, adding, dividing, and graphing. And the sheet is self-checking, so it provides feedback to the students as they work through each problem, letting them know if they got it correct or not. Let's take a look at how to get your own copy of this template and how it works. So first of all, to get your own copy of the template, simply go to bit.ly slash skittles sheet, or you can find the link in the description below this video. After you get your own copy of the template, feel free to use it with your students however you need. For example, you could push out copies to your students through Google Classroom so that each student can have their own copy and do the activities. Now that we have a copy of the template, let's take a look at it. The first tab on the sheet is the Directions tab. Here you'll find some basic instructions for the project. These directions include getting a 2.17 ounce bag of Skittles, but not opening it yet. And I have mine right here, ready to do the activity as well. Uh, next, you're to click on the Activity tab down at the bottom, and then follow the directions there to complete the activities. When we get over there, we'll see that any light yellow boxes are where we're going to fill in our answers. And most of those boxes will check your answer to tell you if it's correct or not. If the box turns green, then you got the correct answer. And if it turns red, then that is not correct and you need to try again. Let's head over to the activity tab and try it out. So here is the activity tab where the students will do all of the activities for this project. As they work down the page, there'll be directions at each step to follow. And again, anytime they need to enter answers, they'll see those uh, boxes that are shaded light yellow. And again, if they turn red or green, that will give them feedback on if they got the answer correct or not. Let's take a look at each activity. For the first activity, without having our bag opened yet, the students will estimate their Skittles. Here they will estimate how many Skittles they think are in their bag and predict which color they think there will be the most of. So let's try this out. I'll go ahead and uh, feel my bag here and uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with an estimate of about 50. So I'm going to say I've got 50 Skittles in there. And then for the prediction of the color, if I click on the drop down there, you'll see you get your five different colors for the Skittles. And I'm going to say that, well, I think uh, grapes probably my favorite. So I'm going to be optimistic and say I hope that I get most of the purple ones. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, let's move on down to the next activity. For this activity, the students will count their Skittles. So at this point, they will open their bag and then sort the Skittles by colors and then count how many Skittles there are of each color. Let's try that out now. All right, I've got all my Skittles out. I will now separate these by color and we'll see what I've got. All right, I'm back. I just finished sorting my Skittles here. And in my particular bag, uh, first with the reds, I had eight of those. Uh, my oranges uh, were actually 16, quite a difference there. Uh, for yellow, I had 13. For green, I had 11. And for purple, I also had 11. So the same amount for those. The next step now is for the students to add all of the colors together to see how many total Skittles there were. Now they can certainly do this just mathematically by adding the numbers together, 
or they can use the Skittles physically as manipulatives to put them in groups of five and 10 and so forth. So if it helps them to do it as a physical addition problem, they've got the Skittles in front of them, or they can add them up here as well. Now, again, this is where we start to see the self-checking. Uh, we're using conditional formatting in this particular spreadsheet to check to see if the answer is right or not and change the color here. So for example, if I were to say, you know, let's add these up. And if I thought, oh, I think that adds up to 49 and I type in 49, when I do that, that's going to turn red because that's not the correct answer. Um, I know I need to go back in and try that again. And realize, oh, I didn't, you know, carry my one correctly. And so I'll put in 59 and now it turns green, letting me know I have the correct answer there. And now scrolling down to the next part of this step in the process, the student now needs to see how far off was their original estimate from the actual amount in the bag. So they need to subtract the two numbers. The spreadsheet will put the larger number first, uh, whichever way that was. In this case, the larger number was uh, the 59, the actual amount. My guess was 50. So again, I would put in my answer there. As we said before, if I do type that in incorrectly, it turns red. If I type it in with the correct answer, it turns green to let me know. All right, let's move on to the next activity, which is comparing our Skittles. So for this part of the spreadsheet, the students are to compare the different colors to see uh, which colors are greater than, less than, or equal to the other colors. Again, they can do this by looking at the numbers here, or they can actually physically move the Skittles around on their table or desk and do the comparison there, whichever works best for them. We do have a drop down to choose are greater than, less than, or equals from. And again, the cells will change color based on that. So for example, the eight reds, of course, are less than the 16 oranges. And as I go across, I can continue to fill these in here uh, with the appropriate uh, greater than or less than signs. Uh, as we said, though, if I did make a mistake, if I were to come in and choose, you know, less than, in this case, it would turn that red until I realized, no, that should be greater than. Uh, same here. Um, and we do have actually one, uh, looks like we have one equals here. The, uh, the green and the purple were both the same. And so uh, now we've got those all properly compared. All right, let's move on down to our next section, which is adding our Skittles. So in this case, we have uh, paired up some different colors and the job of the student is to add the quantities of those colors together. Once again, they can do it with the actual Skittles in front of them, or they can just look at the numbers to do that. Uh, as always, uh, the cells are using conditional formatting. So if I were to type in the incorrect number, it will turn red. If I type in the correct number, it will turn green. And so we'll go through and fill in the rest of these real quick. All right, there we go. Got them all filled in. We'll go ahead and move on to the next activity, which is to divide our Skittles. So for this uh, activity, what we're going to be doing is just looking at the purple Skittles. So in this case, I have 11 purple Skittles. So that's the number that I'll be working with. Uh, the point of this activity is to divide the Skittles into different piles so that we're getting a, uh, an answer to the division problem with a remainder. So we're going to see how many piles we can make and how many Skittles are left over. For example, the first is dividing by two. So we've got 11 the Skittles, we want to make piles of two and want to know how many we can make from that. Again, the students can physically move the Skittles around on their table to realize, oh, I'm going to get five piles of two. But when I do that, I have one left over. So I have a remainder of one. Or of course, they could just do the division as well. Again, as always, if they were to come in here and type in the wrong number, it will turn uh, red. Once they realize, oh, nope, that should be three piles, which would be nine, giving me two left over. And of course, this here would be uh, two piles, giving me eight. And again, having three left over. And then finally, we've got uh, dividing into piles of five. So we would have just two piles there as well, but only one left over in that case. And then that brings us to our final math skill here, which is graphing our Skittles. So for the final activity, the students are going to create a bar graph uh, to show how many of each color there were. To do this, they're going to type in the letter S for Skittle into the boxes below. And each time they do that, if I type in an S, 
in that box, it will turn that cell into the color of that row, again, using conditional formatting. So since I have, you know, eight, and it does re, it does uh, give them a reminder of how many of each color they have, so they don't have to scroll all the way back up, although they could just look in front of them as well. And of course, they could create a bar graph with <laughs> the uh, Skittles right in front of them if they wanted to line them up just to kind of get a comparison of what it looks like in real life versus this uh, digital graph that we're creating. But since I have eight uh, red Skittles, I would want to fill those in as such. And then, of course, just continue that on by typing in S for my other colors here as well. Uh, I will do that real quick and we'll be right back. All right, and there they are. There is my bar graph of uh, all the five different colors of my Skittles. Um, and for this one, to be able to check it, instead of turning things red or green, since we wanted the bar graph to actually represent the colors there, uh, what we do differently is, if you look at the bottom, you'll see there's a tab called Chart. And so we do have a chart that is being generated from this. And if we come down and give a click on the chart, we can see uh, Google Sheets generating a bar graph using the same data that you're working from so the student can very quickly compare that and see uh, verification if they have created their graph correctly. And then that means we only have one activity left, which is enjoy your Skittles. <laughs> so at this point, the students, of course, could enjoy uh, the Skittles that have been sitting in front of them this whole time, smelling so good as they have been smelling for me this entire time <laughs> I have been doing this activity. And that's it. Hopefully this activity will provide an engaging yet educational experience for your students. And if you're looking for more Google Sheets activities, be sure to check out some of the other templates and resources that I've created that use Google Sheets. I'll include those links down in the description as well. And if you are using this Skittles template for a Halloween themed activity, uh, I do have several Google, googly Halloween activities as well, and I have linked those in the description as well. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book. Control Alt Achieve, rebooting your classroom with creative Google projects. Thanks so much and take care.